On this video, I'm gonna share with you three specific strategies in detail on how you can grow your Instagram following organically in the year 2020 and beyond. <laughs> Hey, what's up my friends? Nick Arapkalis here and welcome to this video. We're gonna be talking about the three different strategies for growing your Instagram following organically in the year 2020 and beyond. And as you notice, I have a little bonus tip as well that I will be sharing with you at the end of this video that just kind of amplifies and just adds fuel to the fire on this. Now, I did make a previous video about growing your Instagram following and that was on this video. So if you would like to check that out and that was more last year kind of stuff, um, but definitely some stuff that is applicable for the year 2020 and beyond as well. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch that now and then come back to this video. But with that said, let's jump into this content and even more specifically, like, yes, we want to grow our Instagram following. There's a lot of benefits for that. Obviously, uh, we can create more customers. We can uh, get more brand deals. We can you know, we can do a lot of different stuff. We can do shout outs. We can, we can do, there's just a lot of power when you have your personal brand on point. You have a large engaged following. Uh, a lot of people will uh, pay for promotions on your posts and stuff like that. Just, um, you know, you basically can make a lot of money if you have a large engaged following on Instagram. So that's what we wanna share in here. But the, the big part here I'm telling you is that it, this is gonna help you get a more engaged following as well. It's not just about increasing the numbers. So a lot of people are just solely focused on that and they'll even go to extents where they're just paying for followers and that's something I would never recommend. In fact, I made a video previously talking about how, why you would never want to buy followers. You can go watch that video right here. Uh, it's pretty much the most insidious thing that you can do to your account and I would never recommend it. So. Uh, if you have not watched that video, feel free to go check that one out. But let's jump into this video and let's just start jumping into the content. So first and foremost, you want to create quality and shareable content. Okay, so this is the backbone of your Instagram account. You know, we could share with you all these different strategies that we're going to be sharing on this video and all the previous videos that I've made and the, and the continued videos that I will make. But if you do not have quality content, if people aren't actually enjoying the content that is on your Instagram profile, then none of this other stuff is gonna really help because that's what it's all about. That's why people really grow on Instagram is because they have quality content. People actually like engaging in their content. And that's what Instagram really likes anyways. They like people that make it a quality user experience on the platform and then they reward you for having that quality user experience for other people because they're enjoying your content and therefore they're gonna show more of your content to more people because the fact that people are enjoying it. And this is the big one right here and I don't I haven't talked a whole lot about this but shareable content, okay? Stuff that people see and they're just like, oh my gosh, I have to share that with my friend. Okay, I have to, oh, Sarah would absolutely love this post. I have to tag them in this. I have to share this on my feed. I have to put this on my story because that's, honestly that's the truest way for you to really blow up okay you see some people that just absolutely blow up you see some of these like hot girls okay uh, they absolutely blow up because people are sharing their profile because they're just getting massive exposure to their content and that is why they're just blowing up out of nowhere it seems like they're just blowing up out of nowhere you can't really understand it but they just blow up and it's because people are constantly sharing them. i was just watching a video last or excuse me a, a movie last night it was called yesterday and it was a pretty interesting story, but it was all about this guy who um, he got in this crash and it was like the whole world, the electricity went out. And for whatever reason, everyone forgot about the Beatles, the, uh, the musicians, the Beatles, except for him. And he started, he was a musician and he started singing those songs and people were, rec were like, wow, those are amazing songs. And then he got, went to go on tour with Ed Sheeran and the reason I'm sharing that entire story with you is because he finally got on stage and he was, before that, he was having really trouble, a, a large, a big tr problem at getting more exposure. But once he got on tour with Ed Sheeran and then he was on stage and then all these people in the, in the crowd were loving his music 
and then sharing on their Instagram, sharing on whatever social media platform, but they were sharing it. And that's how he blew up and he essentially became like the best singer songwriter in the entire world because he was on stage and he had a platform where people could see him, but also more importantly, share his content. Like he could have been on stage and a bunch of people could have been watching him, but unless they shared his music with the rest of their following, then he wouldn't have gone anywhere. So that's why I want to really instill with you is share quality content that your followers are gonna enjoy, but also sh try and you know put together content that people are actually gonna share. They're gonna wanna uh, expose their friends of it and tag them and put it on their stories. Because if you can do that, that's gonna be one of the biggest things that's gonna really blow up your profile in the year 2020, okay? So the next one is engaging with others, okay? Social media, let's talk about this for a second. I'll just do a SM, social media, okay? It's not just media, like we just talked about right here, where it's shareable content, you know, content right here is, this is media. Okay. The content is the media part, but what else is it called? It's not just called media, right? It's called social media, right? Social media. So let's talk about this here real quick. What, why would we want to engage with other people? Say these are the posts you're like, seeing the feed. You know, I have all these posts on my feed. Why, why would I want to engage? with all these people? Why would I want to like their stuff? Why would I want to do any of that kind of stuff? Why would I want to engage? Well, first of all, Instagram loves it. Okay, IG loves it. They love when you are engaging on the platform because it's helping other people have a better quality user experience on the platform, okay? Because, you know, like we said, it's social media, not just media, but social media. Instagram wants you to be social. Yes, they want you to post quality content. They want you to put up stuff that people are really going to enjoy, but they also want you engaging with others. And if you play by their rules, they're going to reward you for that. So the more that you come in here and you like pictures, I just like that one, the more that you like other pictures, the more they're going to favor you because they're like, okay, not only is this person putting up quality content, they're posting cool pictures, posting cool videos that people are actually enjoying, but they're actually engaging with other people as well. They're going to start pushing your content up towards the top of news feeds and even sometimes the explore page when you are engaging with other people and you are playing by their rules you have to play by the rules of these platforms otherwise you're not going to win you have to understand that because they always are in control you're never going to outbeat the system by trying to just have this little hack or something you have to play by their rules and their rules are post quality content and engage with other people the other benefit of this, why you'd want to engage with other people is that it notifies. So it notifies people, you know, obviously every time I just, I just uh, like this, Ben just got a notification that I came in and liked it. There's always the potential every time you engage with someone other's, someone else's content, they're going to be like, oh, well, this person engaged. Let me come back to their profile. Let me check. Th so Ben might be like, oh, Nick, just like my stuff. Let me go check out his stuff. Oh, I didn't know he just had arm surgery. Wow, that's crazy. Let me engage with him. So that's just a way that like, you know, it starts engaging more. And then like you start getting a little bit more traction back to your profile. And then when more people are liking your content, then, you know, the more likelihood that your content is going to be pushed up towards the top of news feeds and explore pages at times. Okay. So the big thing is, is that I, Instagram loves it. You're playing by their rules, but you're also getting notifications on other people. So it's basically, you're just like notifying people and they get every time they get a notification, they have a chance that you come back to their pro or they come back to your profile. And it's not just liking, okay, but it's also commenting and messaging, okay? So it's kind of hard to show you on the this platform or excuse me, um, <laughs> that's a funny picture. Um, it's not about just, you know, coming in and liking, but you know, what I really recommend you do is actually really engage with people. So if I were to really want to engage with this profile or this, this picture, I would come in and like really look at these pictures and say something about it. Okay. I would put a well thought out comment right here and I would talk about it, right? Um, so I would do that with a lot of these. 
But on the other side of things, when I get new followers as well, is I, sen I typically send them a message and being like, hey, I just want to connect. I saw that you followed me. I just I love connecting with my followers. So again, it comes back to the fact that I'm not only am I trying to get new followers and trying to gain new followers, but I'm trying to deepen the connection with my followers. Now, in addition to that, because that's with like my current followers, right? And that's that's great and all, but I want to gain new followers, right? So let me, that should be better right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sh search by hashtags, um, basically, or based on my, yeah, my targeted niche, okay? So let's say I'm in the cooking niche, okay? Let's say I'm in vegan cooking niche. Vegan, and then I'll come into something like vegan cookbook or vegan cooking. And I'll click on that. And then what I'm gonna do, and instead of like engaging with any of these posts, cause these posts, these are the top posts. And with a hashtag that gets over 500,000 posts, these people probably get an insane amount of exposure. Okay, so I'm not too worried about them. What I am worried about is the most recent. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna check this out. Actually, I'm gonna check this picture out. So this guy just posted something. Uh, I always love to make a big vegan meal for friends and family, showing eating delicious, healthy, and cruelty free. Okay, so this guy has six likes on there and he's also, he's obviously very vegan based. Okay, so if he was one of my you know, people that I would like to connect with, not only would I like this picture, but I would say something that was related to that and be like, yeah, absolutely, I love cooking for friends. I like showing them that you can, uh, stuff can be delicious while healthy at the same time. Um, great post, appreciate you putting the great value out there. Something like that. And even, like I would probably, you know, check out their profile a little bit more, see if they are in, are in fact, um, a little bit like very focused on veganism, stuff like that. And maybe even come through and check out their profile a bit more and leave some more comments. And th what this is doing is it's really, you're engaging with other people that are in, that you would want to engage with to get more followers. Because if you come in and you leave a heartfelt comment like that, what do you think they're going to do? They're interested in veganism. You're interested in veganism. They're going to come back to your profile and be like, wow, this, this person's awesome. Not only did they leave a lot of value on my post and they you know, left this heartfelt comment, but they also post a lot of great content. What do you think they're going to do? They're probably going to come and follow you as well and become not only a follower, but a very well engaged follower right so come back here is go out there and engage with other people instagram loves it it's going to give notifications to other people and then you can go out there and search hashtags and comment and also message these people okay a lot goes down in the dms connection goes down in the dms so send them a message after they follow you being like hey appreciate you following me i love your vibe stuff like that whatever you want to say but just connect with people don't worry about the numbers so much worry about connecting with people so that is number two, engaging with others, okay? Now, number three, collaborations. And this one's big. And this kind of goes along with the shareable content, quality content, but it's just kind of amplifying things. So what we can do, let's, I'm gonna erase all this. I wanna talk about this collaboration thing real quick. So here's you, my fancy drawings. And here's, someone else that um, has a uh, has a profile that's similar to you okay let's say so let's say you have a thousand followers okay and let's say let's again let's say you're in the vegan niche and you want to connect with more people that are interested in veganism okay so what you want to do is you want to go out there and find someone that has a similar profile to you that has a similar amount of followers to you and say hey let's do a collaboration. So a collaboration could do, like if you're in the same area, you guys could go do a photo shoot, you guys could do an interview with each other, um, you could make a, like a fun video with each other, maybe even just like a comedy video or an informational video. Somehow you guys are like basically just sharing value with each other, but not only with each other, to your audiences. And basically what this is doing is it's cross promoting your audiences. So when you do that, this guy over here, let's say his name is Dave, he posts on his profile with the two of you. 
you know, whatever type of content that is and says, Hey, go follow Eric. Let's say your name's Eric. So it says, go follow Eric. And then a thousand people, a thousand new people come over and check out your profile. And if they're really interested in veganism and they like your vibe, then obviously a portion of them are going to follow them, follow you. Same thing goes over here. You put the content on your profile of you guys saying, Hey, this guy's awesome. He loves veganism as well. Make sure and go follow him. So then a thousand new people go and check his profile out. And if they like him, they obviously follow him as well. Now you can kind of, um, as you continue to do this more and more, your profile is going to continue to go up. And then what I would recommend is like, yeah, you typically want to find people that are in the same range as you, but I would also be ambitious and be like, all right, well, let me try and connect with people that have 5,000 followers or 10,000 or 50,000, hundred thousand. I've done, I've done collaborations with people that have much bigger followers than me, than me. And it's very, very beneficial. And not only are you getting more followers, but you're developing a deeper connection with this guy right here. Okay. And he's more of a loyal, engaged follower that really has your back. And that's the whole idea of networking in general. So that is big is to do collaborations and do them consistently. Okay. Create a podcast, interview people, do photo shoots, do videos together, you know, use, or I shouldn't say the word use, I should leverage other people because that's what is, what it's all about. And I used to think that it's all about just doing all this stuff on your own, but it's big with other people. Okay. So those are the big three things. Quality and shareable content is the backbone of your Instagram engaging with others because Instagram loves that. Uh, but you also can really develop deep connections when you start engaging with other people, send them a message after they follow you and just really leave heartfelt, engaged comments on people's stuff. Um, especially if it's people that don't get a whole lot of engagement, they're just going to love you for that and then use collaborations to really amplify things. So let's talk about one last thing that's really going to amplify your exposure when you already do all this type of stuff. Okay. And that is paid ads to amplify exposure. Now I talked a little bit about this type of strategy on this video. So if you have not watched that, make sure and go check that out. That's a video that's all about paid advertising and, and a whole, but I kind of talked about this, but now I want to talk about it a little bit more. So basically, you know, this is my content right here and you know, I get a decent amount of exposure, but what if I wanted a little bit more exposure? What if I didn't want to go out there and go out there and engage with a bunch of people and doing it like 10 times a day, 50 times a day, uh, can get a little tedious, right? Um, or I just want to add something else in combination with it. Well, what you can do is do some paid advertising. So let's jump on over to my Facebook ads dashboard and I'll show you exactly how to set this type of stuff up. Okay. So here we are in my ads dashboard and I just want to show you a few things. Um, basically you'd want to run engagement campaigns to the content that you already have. And I want to show you how cheap it is. Like sometimes it's two cents, sometimes it's five cents per engagement, two cents, four cents, even as low as one cent per engagement and engagement can be, you know, a, a view, it can be a like, it could be a comment, it could be a share, it can be anything. Okay. That's basically what an engagement is. So I, at, on this campaign, I'm getting as low as one cent engagements. So that's just getting a little bit more exposure to everything that is on my profile, right? So come in here and how you do this is you create a new campaign, start over here. Um, you definitely want to, um, basically I want, first I just want to tell you, um, you'd want to go to business.facebook.com to reach this. You don't want to do it through the regular Facebook admins dashboard or Facebook dashboard. Uh, you want to through, do through the business and then you want to connect your Instagram profile. Once you have all that set up, you want to come in here and create an engagement campaign and we'll just continue. And then basically what you want to do is like decide on who you exactly want to target. Um, maybe again, we're coming into the veganism. So let's type in veganism and we'll go, Hey, we want to target veganism. If you're a man, if you're a man and you want to attract more men that are interested in veganism, then you obviously go with men. If you're, if you're a woman trying to attract, uh, women into your veganism business, then, you know, obviously go there. Uh, maybe you want to do both. Maybe, you know, you want to just focus on people that are below 40. Um, you know, it really depends on who the type of people that you want to attract, but then you come down here and you want to edit your placements and then what you take off Facebook, you take off audience network and you just keep Instagram on. Typically I only use Instagram feed, but I've noticed that there's this new uh, feature called Instagram Explorer. That could be a, a route that you want to go as well. Just test it out, figure out what you want to do. 
um, but obviously just leave it on Instagram. That's it. Uh, you know, set your budget, whatever you want to spend, $5, $10, $100, whatever you want to do, you can start as low as $5. And you can just literally just spend $5 on each post. But basically what you want to do is you come in here and if you linked your Instagram account already, then you would just click on your Instagram account and then you go to existing post and then you just select the post and then come over to Instagram and then, you know, select whatever post you want, hit continue. And that's how people it'll look. It's basically just your content that's showing up and you're just placing it to people that are interested in veganism, right? So then it would look, this is how it would look on the explore page. So it's basically the same thing. Once you're ready to go, then you just hit confirm and boom, you're off to the races. Okay guys. So that's the video. Appreciate you guys listening and, um, you know, watching exactly what we have here. Hopefully you're taking some notes, understanding this type of stuff to recap. You want to have quality and shareable content. That's the backbone of your Instagram account. You also want to engage with others and use collaborations to just really amplify everything and to amplify it even more, use some paid ads to just get even more exposure. If you do those, these three things, you're definitely going to grow your Instagram profile in the year 2020 and beyond with the numbers, but not only the numbers, but the quality of of followers and the people that are actually interested and are going to continue to engage in your stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate your time. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Make sure and subscribe, share this stuff with some friends so they can get some value out of it. And we will see you on the next video. Tonight.